Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have been experiencing the Windows 11 Defender LSA protection bug and issues over the last couple of months that I have been posting on, then I may have good news because now Microsoft has announced over on their known issues health dashboard page that they now have actually fixed and resolved this issue, which has been a bit of an up and down backwards and forwards process as I have posted over the last couple of months and has been affecting a lot of users, including myself, when it comes to the Windows Defender LSA protection bug issues. Now, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, because I have actually posted a whole lot of content. Um, if you want more info, just do a search for LSA on the channel. You'll get all the relevant content. But nonetheless, just to do a quick recap, Microsoft originally said, after installing update for Microsoft Defender antivirus anti-malware platform, which was the update KB5007651, which was version 1.0.2302.21002, you might receive a security notification or warning stating that local security protection is off. Your device may be vulnerable. And that was actually a orange warning for a lot of users, including myself. And once protections are enabled, your Windows device might persistently prompt that a restart is required. And that was the original issue. And then after that, as I posted, Microsoft issued a workaround, which for a time worked. And then um, the issue returned. And then as I posted um, back in May of this year, around about the 17th of May, Microsoft then officially confirmed that they had not fixed the Windows 11 Defender LSA protection issue. And I'll actually leave that video down below. Now, just to let you know, as mentioned at the start of this video, if we just head over now to the known issues health dashboard page, local security authority protection is off with persistent restart. Yeah, we can see Microsoft now has finally said they have resolved this issue on the 5th of July 2023, which was yesterday in my region. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see the resolution. Microsoft says this issue was resolved in an update for Windows Security Platform Anti Malware Platform KB5007651 version 1.0.2306.1002. And uh, um, obviously, they say if you would like to install the update before it is installed automatically, you will need to check for updates. So, just to put this all into perspective, if we head over to our Windows Update page, head over to Windows Update. If you're not seeing the update, just check for updates, which will download and install this latest version upgrade for um, the Microsoft Defender app automatically. And if we head over to update history now, and we navigate to definition updates, this is uh, the update 5007651 version 1.0.2306.1002, which Microsoft says now has resolved the issue where your device keeps asking for a persistent restart and um, that bug now seems to be resolved. And like all previous videos, as I have mentioned, only time will tell with this, although Microsoft has officially confirmed now, once again, they have resolved and fixed this issue now, which as mentioned, they have stated now over on their known issues health dashboard page, only time will tell. And the only thing I am noticing though, although, the persistent restart bug has been fixed. If we head back to uh, the Windows Security app and we head over to Device Security, I'm still not seeing the LSA protection setting. Now, I might have a possible reason for this. I actually feel that Microsoft may have actually removed the setting, the actual setting, and made LSA protection a default feature now in Windows 11, where previously you could actually turn the setting off. And what I think personally they've done is they've actually removed the setting and just made LSA protection a default setting now. So that's why you may not be seeing the LSA protection setting in the core isolation page in your Windows security app. But if you are seeing LSA, let me know down below in the comments. I would very, be very interested to know if you are. But nonetheless, as mentioned, that LSA protection bug now, according to Microsoft, asking you for a persistent restart with that warning, according to their known issues, health dashboard page has now been resolved with that recent update to the Microsoft Defender app. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.